Oh, I found the third boss. Oh. You look kind of cute. Hi. We have to shoot you now. What's up, YouTube? This is Fletch from Games Done Casual, uh, and today we will be playing Titan Souls again. Um, the last video, we reached a lava area, and um, we were fighting this skull, and he had two weapons. There were maces, and he just crushed us a bunch. I've been thinking a little bit about how we might approach this boss, and um, the only thought I have is trying to shoot the arrow uh, behind him and then pull the arrow back into his weak spot when his back is exposed. Um, so I want to try that. So what I'm trying now is putting the arrow in uh, a cardinal direction, like down here in the le uh, left, yep. Directions are hard. Uh, and so if I put the arrow here and then I move to the side of the arena, maybe I can pull it into him. Oh wow, I'm a genius. I can't believe I did that. Just pull this sucker out and go find a new boss to fight. Give me all that soul energy. It always surprises me when I defeat a boss, because I'm not ex ever expecting to. It's, this game is really difficult. And so, when it actually happens, it comes as a big, big surprise to me. All right, see you later, Skullface. Let's go find a different boss to fight. And you know, while we're here, may as well just stick within this lava area. I don't see any reason why we should leave at this point. I want to complete as much as I can. Oh, a different arena. Oh, this guy has an eyeball. Is this going to be similar to the eye cube? That'd be interesting. Okay, it's it's Betty from Death's Door. This makes sense. We will just channel all of our death store skill and try and avoid this guy. I like how sad this music is, that's kind of cool. And then he rolls around for a bit. He leaves lava trail. Oh, so we gotta avoid fire. Interesting. This is my favorite part about this game, I think, is discovering something new and learning how to fight it. The trial and error over and over grind until you get that one perfect shot can be kind of annoying, but, but I'm really, really enjoying the puzzle solving aspect of trying to get uh, these bosses killed. And it seems like I'm going to want to kill this guy within the first couple seconds of entering the arena. 
Um, otherwise, it's going to be too much fire, and I'm not going to be able to walk anywhere. So I think this this timing is going to be pretty tight. I just gotta just gotta go for it. I'll let him roll at you, and then I'm trying to line his eyeball. Oh, I missed it. Oh, does my arrow put out flames? That's good to know. Not incredibly helpful given how long it takes to draw and release the bow, but somewhat helpful. Alright, come here. Oh, well, okay, not that fast. I, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry. I meant slowly approach for a handshake or something. Feels to me like this is one of those bosses where the speedrunners have a strat where they put the arrow in a very specific location upon initiating the fight and they can just uh, hit the boss super easily within a couple seconds of starting. Uh, that eyeball is not lining up in the ways that I want it to. Oh, he's rolling again. Okay, well. Alas. I think what I need to do is find a pathing that consistently shows his eyeball at ground level so that it's shootable, and then repeat that pathing every time so that uh, I can have as many good shots on the eyeball as possible. But changing my routine too much might be disastrous. Ouch. <laughs> Classic Fletch. Ow, that hurts. Don't run into walls. Yeah, so he rolls over to try and protect his eye upon that first initial charge. I'm gonna keep that in mind. He's about to start his second roll, so I gotta be careful here. Let's clear a path. Okay. Now I've gotta find a way to line up his eye. Oh, I saw it there for a second. Oh. There we go. This boss wasn't too bad. It's just about waiting. Alright, well, let's see if we can finish off the lava zone. That'd be kind of fun. We've still got some time left on the recording, so... I say let's do it. My best guess is that the third boss in this area is the boss that we saw earlier. It's down here. But I unfortunately don't know how to get down there. These are all walls, and I can't I can't walk across them. So we'll keep exploring and see what we can find. I could be totally wrong about uh, whether that being maybe that's just Skullface's body that was left behind. You never know. What's up here? Oh, I can walk behind this lava fall. Oh, there's a door back here. Oh, I found the third boss. Oh, you look kind of cute. Hi. We're gonna have to shoot you now. Yeah, you're mad. Oh, goodness. Okay. And then a boulder. Okay. Oh, and that explodes. Okay. I'm 
assuming that I want to get this inside of your mouth when you're pulling stuff up. Nope. Okay, that's not it. Do I want to get you to hit that bomb thing? Are you getting bigger? Do I need to shoot the magma puddle? Oh, there we go. It's inside. My arrow's inside of her. I can pull her towards me. Oh, I can pull her towards me. Let's get her towards this bomb thing while avoiding all of the bag. Oh, bummer. Okay, now we gotta wait for her to plant another mine. This is cool. I'm a big fan of this. Okay, okay, I see. We've gotta get her to shoot a magma bomb. But then we've gotta get these little. these little orbies. To not go near her while we pull her closer. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Right here. Oh no. Okay. This is cool. We we're pulling on each other. I like this. Mark Foster. Great boss design. Somewhat doubt that you'll ever watch this video, but if you do. Just want to let you know. I love it. It's nice how easy it is to plant that in her mouth, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> I got a little greedy there. I wanted to see if I could do it. Ah, oh, this boss is intriguing. I think this might be my favorite thus far. Shot. Get that in. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, well, I did get her right as the scene closed, so it's good to know that I'm on the right track. And it seems like once her magma balls uh, detach from her crystal, I'll need to shoot the crystal too, just similar to Alhannon. I think we're just gonna need to try and carry her into one corner over and over again until we can get her to hit it. Oh no, I was so close. That's definitely the way to do it though. You just stand in a corner and you just keep tugging on her and then every time you need to get out of the way, you do so.
Well, we're not quite there yet, but definitely when this recording hits an hour length, I gotta be done. Oh no! Oh yes! Alright, there we go. It's always when I start doubting myself that the boss actually gets defeated. Ah, bask in the glory. It feels so good to overcome one of these bosses in this game. The rush of dopamine is huge. And I don't even mind this animation plays every single time. It just, ah, uh, it's wonderful. It feels so good. Yay! All right, we'll go touch another checkpoint. Um, and then, we will say goodbye. And by touching another checkpoint, I think I mean I want to go back to where the Night Elhanan was. And I want to start the next time we hang out up there. Uh, because I only defeated him in that grassy area. And I know that there's a second boss up there that I accidentally missed. So I want to, I want to try finding that second boss and oh what is this what well hold on I don't know what's going on it's another elevator I see what what is going on I thought this was the way outside however it's not outside. It is very clearly not the grassy outside area. This is quite cold. Is this ice? Do I slide on this? I do slide on that. That's funny. Just blue sky. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to end the video at whatever checkpoint is in this area. I thought I had an idea of what I wanted to do next. Ding dong. I was wrong. And that's okay. Oh gosh. Climb, climb, climb. There's lots of fire everywhere. Do I need to light up the beacons? That seems like a very, very classic thing to do. Yeah, this is just like death store. Uh, I want to start doing all of this, but I shouldn't. I shouldn't. This is where we call the video. Everybody, thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for watching. Uh, this video will likely be heavily edited, so. If you like this style, please let me know if you would rather see uh, uncut gameplay. Um, feel free to share your opinions down in the comments. Thanks everybody, stay casual.